individual mm -hmm. who were arrested and detained at the NIA in connection with the Lalo Kante alleged coup d'etat. Lalo? Lalo Jaite. Okay. La <coughs> During the investigation. Si jamano des subin chido ndef. Are you with us? Yes. Wow. Mr. Chairman, um, as far as this investigation is concerned, since there was this um, uh, military officer involved. Mr. Chairman, comme vous avez dit, il y a des gens qui ont des soldats qui ont des gens qui ont des gens. Et dans le cas où un militaire officier est involé, il y a des gens qui ont 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 des gens. No, the police or the NIA would do the arrest, would effect the arrest. Do you know the police, do you know the NIA, do you know the NIA, do you know the NIA? This is purely the military something. It's the military who takes over the case. You know, make them be more humble than you. That we are just trying to be soldiers. You know, humble than you. Okay, do it. We are only there to support. You know, then for the collect the rock and the San Diego. Reason, but Mr. Barry, that is not necessarily the case. Why, Mr. Barry, you are doing a good job. We 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 have seen that in the case of Yaya Drabe, he was in fact arrested by Mr. Jim Drabe. Dr. Gisen, you have a drama. Jim, you have a drama. You have a drama. You have a drama. You have a drama. You have a military officer? A soldier? Well, who? He was a rebel. Mr. Mr. He was a rebel. He has a drama. He's never a soldier. He's a rebel. That's what I'm saying. He's a rebel. Yes. He's a rebel. He was arrested by the soldiers and handed over to Jim Drama to be transported to the NIA. Ibrahim Ibrahim Baro was he a soldier? Ibrahim Baro, not a soldier, lah. No, no. One wasn't. Did it? He was a soldier. He too was arrested and detained together with Omar Dab and Lalojet and Lalojet and Dumosao and Dumosao and Yabo. Yabo, Yabo, Yabo from Gambia. I, I, I may not recall that name. Ma fatere kutu bode. But uh, they certainly recall you. Why you they fatere kumenya? I said they certainly recall you. No, fatere kumenya. And uh, there is something Yabo from Gamtel? Yes, Yabo from yeah. Gamtel. Wow. Oh, I can't remember this Yabo. All right. Ma fatere kuyabo bi. These people, they were tortured also. Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim Baro and Omar Dabo. Ibrahim Baro and Omar Dabo. You mean to me, you will not be in trouble. Civilians, you don't touch the military officers. Civilians, the military officers. Military officers. Don't try to be involved. Don't let them see the sabot. Do we, Mr. Chairman? You don't touch the military officers. Today, we as a city, are they tortured at all? The ah, no, the medical men. That's the problem here, Mr. Sorry, Wayne. sorry. But we have to wait for the question okay. to interpret it and then you answer. We are they tortured at all at the NIA premises? Ah, no, I'm not being medical, but I'm not taking the NIA the NIA fufu. No, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Did it, Mr. Chairman. Not that I know of. Do you know what i Yes. So you deny the Mr. President. Chairman. Excuse me. I was totally against torture. Fine, man. Make na ko hamne ni kuba. But it's something that I really like because make kuto lo hamne ni buga na. Investigate no sooner. Or if you are in the act of torturing, if you are in the act of medical fatal, feel throughout. Da 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 la nyak. Because wherever you do anything like torture, at the end of the day, you don't have to have a good result. So how many in a definite way are medical? See, we get that door. Let us examine. Let us not leave it to 
proclamation. Okay, fine. Let's 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 interrogate this and look at what victims and witnesses have said. Okay. Like the case of Omar Dabo. It's allowed the interpreters in the video uh, interpretation. Please go ahead. Yes, yeah, tell us about Omar Dabo. Yeah. Uh, in the case of Omar Dabo, like the testimony I've heard from Omar Dabo, like Omar Dabo, throughout, he has never ever mentioned a military officer in the investigations. He has even gone down to say that there was a senior, that is Sukuta Jame was my senior. But couldn't that just be an impression? <laughs> many, many people think I am the head of this TRRC. You know why? I am far from it. You know why? 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 Omar Dabo has described a scenario of what happened. And he said as follows. He said, at some point, I was returned to the cells. He was trying to describe the interrogations that was ongoing. Mm -hmm. At close of business, Mr. Fodebari came to my cells and made some remarks. That if I think I can play with them, then I must be joking and that I should wait till the next day. Mune, bumi fanya na nangman nina chahan agnom bonda familia ni manhau malima wa na tena hara albe elekti suba maseru hel. And listen to this, maybe this would interest you. Na dogu ni na kijana dina la itil. The following morning, elekti chacha suba. The military police came and take me from my cells. To the same room where Fodebari and Sikuta Jame were. Military police told me that. They have now established the fact that Alaji Kante was the commissioner of NBR, was used was to use me and Lalo as his trusted fellows. They gave me a paper and asked me to write my statement. I did it in the form of a draft and after it was transferred, after I transferred after I transfer it to another paper as my final statement. I did the transfer to another paper and then I tore the draft. As far as you can recall, is this true about the taking of his statement? I have a text. I wouldn't do that. You would not ask, you would not do what? Like statement or whatever. But he did not say that. Why? He did not say that. He said he wrote a statement, then he later transferred that same what he wrote onto another paper. That's not true. Did he write his statement by himself? I can't remember. I may not remember. Honestly, I can't. You see, at this stage, 
he did not say he was being tortured when he wrote, when he was writing the the, 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 the statement. He did not say that. amna ben mi tital bo xamne tek nañ ko ko bimo bi ndaka dom yoy lolu mo waxe ko de. He went on to say continue di wax ni for they saw me and this never went down well with him. Ba ma fo re gisé nak mbéri dal ni ndamé nexu ko. He scolded me. Dal di ma xoj. Dal di ma poñé. Wit goes with a nasty slap. Nga xamné daf ko andalé ak mbéc bu ñetti. He said you slapped him. Muné da nga ko mbéc. So you see I'm um, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Gis nga Mr. Chairman. I was the head of the investigation like let me tell you one thing about Mr. Ma, S. Ma, 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 everybody would think that SR Fall is doing everything he's the master brain or whatever in the TRRC but it is not from in Ma, 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 Commissioner Odiko, Daldina Sisi. Odi Mike. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can you stay with the statement that you're making? No comments on uh, any personnel here. That's not what you're testifying. And we have been brought here to testify to. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You didn't hear what I said? No, sir. Stick with your statement. You are here to testify on what we are investigating not commenting okay. on uh, Thank individuals you. so i can no i can i just finish I please can i just finish okay look you are here on a particular set of procedures we're very polite with some witnesses that come in our rules require us to do that you have to obey the uh, decorum the rules that this commission operates under not come here and then start commenting uh, on uh, personalities and individuals some uh, here in the in the commission so please stay, stick with your um, with, with your testimony council can you please continue uh, thank you very much mr chair and uh, he said he continued on to say that after i submitted my statement to for the bank continue is it, is it true that he submitted his statement to you? No. But to whom should he submit the statement? No, no, no. You don't know? No, no, no. But no, you, no. you headed an investigation. Here I, is was, this. I was not heading that investigation. It's the military. Mr. Barry, are you suggesting that the military headed the investigation? Yes. Mr. Barry, you know the military case. But who in the military headed the investigation? Well, this is what I have forgotten. But it's a military case. Mr. Barry, you, it, you, this is something you have forgotten. Military has two sides. They are either taken to a civilian court or before the, uh, is it GAFA, the Gambia Armed Forces Act. Soldari ñom ñaari fanna lañ am ben ñu yobu leen ci court ci bu wala ci seen bind that has nothing to do with who leads the investigation mo la nga wax ni de amu dara lum def ak kan mo jitté won gis yoy that is the choice of course mr chairman of the commander in chief mo lu dessa ci ki nga xamné mo di commander in chief whether to try the people the the culprits under the gafa by way of court martial or to try them before the ordinary court. And that is also a function of the charge. Why is the charge is treated as treason? Why is the charge is 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 treason? Why is the NIA investigations. Yo, yes. we are GTA NIA history palace being the fake history. You participated in that investigative panel. And you cannot even remember who headed that investigation. Isn't that strange? It's not strange. It is, Mr. No, it was not. In, in all these investigations, excuse me, despite the fact that I was the officer commanding investigation, does it mean that I am always present 
when investigations are going on. Nam sax nga xamne ma jité won buntu bi sétu won biri guest bi du nek né waktu wu nek rek dama daan tew ci guest yoy. We are not talking about presence we are talking about leadership. Ñu waxum téway dañu ñu wax mbir njit ya. And, and in all yeah, this I am talking about presence because it's more important here not about leadership. The question I ask is you led that investigations you said you didn't it was led by a military officer you cannot remember who Yeah. But, 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 but Mr. Barry, is it strange? You remember the investigations. In your head, you can picture what was going on. Yet, you cannot even picture who led that investigation. It's strange. Why, Mr. Barry, you are very more. You don't have to look at the land of the land of the land. Why, you don't have to look at the land of the land. I can't. Isn't it, isn't it normal that the most senior officer would in fact lead the investigations? In all these panels, it was led by the NIA. There's no panel that was led by military. That was held at the NIA. Of course. Give me examples. Dr. Bernard of Sanasabali was yes. headed by, is it something Juf, Major Juf, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Gaston Sanasabali. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Juf <laughs> Law. And yet still I was the head of the investigation. But it was headed by um, uh, that Fraser Juf. Mr. Barry, you yes. will recall that the Sanasavali case is a completely different case. Mr. Barry, I'm going to say that the case of Sanasavali is a complete different case. Mr. Barry, I'm going to say that the case of Sanasavali is a complete different case. Mr. Barry, I'm going to say that the case of Sanasavali is a complete different case. Mr. Barry, I'm going to say that the case of Sanasavali is a complete different case. Mr. Barry, I'm going to say that the case of Sanasavali is a complete different case. It's almost the same, Mr. Chairman. It's almost the same. This is 2000 we are talking about. I am talking about a military involvement here, military officer. I am telling you that from 1996, all the panels that were held at the NIA were led by the NIA and not a military person. It could be, but I I'm not aware of that. I will not know why I'm not aware of that. And in fact, in fact, the 2000 panel uh, for Omar Dabo and uh, Ibrahim Obaro, you actually led the panel. Baham sah panel boleh guna ham nama mungkin tahu orang cenderung amal dabo, agi ibrahim amal baro. Not me yang kau jitu. Not some imagined soldier. Kena kau don ay soldier. I don't. I was the I was not the one who led the panel. Kau don man maji tu on panel boleh. But you cannot tell us who led the panel. Why betul mungkin yang awak kan sudi. I can't remember. Malay mana mahu faham telek. That is strange. Dah nak warde. If that is what you believe, is fine. Let us proceed. You see, this witness is a soldier. And he didn't mention any soldier during the questioning. To do to them soldier, but how many more details on that thing could on life? Instead, he mentioned you and Sukuta Jami. Do we know that you are mila to the act Sukuta Jami? Isn't that also strange? Sorry, I can't work with Sukuta Jami at the same level or the same case. It's not possible. Munu maligay ak Sukuta Jami si ben na makama wala si ben bir muni gesto. Did you work myself on Sukuta? Did you work on this particular case? Yes, I can't remember really. Well, Mr. Barry, earlier on you said you did. Now you can't remember. Wah, buaya guni wah gani, buat kangas. Dia gengan emun lefat telek. I've never said I did. What human is that now? Are you serious? Or on that? Well, I can assure you that you did. You told us. Why, man, la viral ne? Wah ngako? You were in that investigation. Dangol na bokon dechigesubo. In fact, you went on to say. 
that you are not always present and now you are telling us but you cannot remember being part of it that is very strange being present does it mean that I was part of the panel because I have seen here in the panel that they mentioned it is a job I have never worked it is a job. In any time, it is a job. It is a job. Never. Mr. Witness, you have also denied working with Sukuta Jami. I'm not saying I have never worked with Sukuta Jami. I said I would not work with Sukuta Jami on a particular case, only me and him. No, because Sukuta would have seniors. What for me? I cannot work with Sukuta. Sukura was too junior. But I would have been on the table. He's senior. No, no. What rule are you citing? What rule? What rule are you citing? Yeah, she banned you on that one. Regimentation. And which rule in your regimentation are you citing? I was a senior, so I cannot have Sukura directly working with me without any other senior person. No. Mana mana mungkin kalau faham orang cik Sukuta, orang Sukuta wata mana tora mana cik Bena makam am lagi, dia amu kan ku dah suin digante. Is that for real? Lulu dega dega. That is that for real? Dega dega lulu mau am. For real. That would be strange. That would be a strange procedure. Lulu nak ayat. Because undoubtedly you must work with genius. Kehalin budaya Allah defeng lagi dega nak admi la fikir suf. You must work with genius. So kali dega ni. Let me repeat. I said, Mane. I cannot work with Sukuta alone without any of his seniors. It's not possible. You see me assign a senior person to work with Sukuta and not me working with Sukuta. Who are the seniors you assigned on this particular case? No, uh, Mr. Chairman, I can't remember, really. Yeah, it's been a while now. About 20 years ago. Well, I accept, I understand it's 20 years ago. Yes, 20 years ago. But you see, the victim would always remember. And the victim said, both you and Sukuta, you are not satisfied with what he wrote. And this prompted Fode to order some men under his supervision to put me in handcuffs again. They took me to a small room where there was a chair. They sat me on it. And one of them asked me if I was ready to do what they asked me to do. I told them I stood by my statement. They were four men in the room. Two of them hold my hands while still in handcuffs. And the others were giving me nasty slap and punches. At some point my face started to swell. That's what the witness said. Omar is not saying the truth. Omar Why would you say he's not saying the truth? I don't know, these are not true statements. I will not be part of, you know. You see, Mr. Witness, if Omar wanted to incriminate you just for the sake of incriminating you, he would say that you were part of those who were beating him on this time. But he did not include you. No. Whether I'm being included or not. We are not included or not. not true. He, he also did not include Sukuta. It's not true. That's his testimony. It's not true. That is your testimony. It's not true. You agree? 
No, no, no. But I did not take part in it. I have not done such a thing. No, no, no. You did not hear me. You did not hear me. No, no, no. I said, Money. that is your testimony. It's not true. Your my testimony is, that's not a true statement. I am putting it back to you, as you have sent it to me, that this is your testimony, it's not true. I am putting it back to you, as you have sent it to me, that My testimony is, this is not true, that is my testimony. And I send it back to you, that this is your testimony, it is not true. It is not true. That is my testimony. So you accepting that your testimony is not true. This is not true. The statement of Omar Dabo, whatever, is not true. That is not true. Omar Dabo, And you have nothing to show that the statement of Omar Dabo is not true. What would I have when I have not taken part in it? You, you, you could have had an alibi. You do not. You could have had a witness. You haven't offered any. You know why? The only witness that you mentioned here is no more, he's late. Then they said, I'm going to do the next thing. It is, it is, oh, it is quite convenient to say I have a witness, the person. No, there. sorry. I said the only person that you said I was together with is now late. I call any other person from the NIA. Does it mean that uh, for that whole case, for that case, it was only right. about me and Sukuda? Okay, Mr. Witness. Uh, this witness is saying that he was severely beaten. In fact, you had to tell, according to the witness, you had to tell the torturers to ensure that there are no external injuries on him. You deny that? Yes. Well, the fact is, the reason is that you cannot torture anybody without any external injury or signs. There can be, but, no. but that's, from, that's for something else. I mean, but but you have asked for a witness who could say that you were involved. That's what, what you asked for, didn't you? Why don't you like to say that Another witness apart from Ibrahim, apart from uh, Omar. Omar Dabo, who would say that you were present, you were involved in this? Then you say that you say Omar Dabo, who had the money, who had the money, who Yes, but the thing is, it's only the victims, the people who were present, who can incriminate you. You know how many of them are alone? How many of them are alone? How many of them are alone? How many of them and here is one who That's said you were involved. That I you, think you want the answer. You supervise. Why don't you wait for my answer? Uh, I, I will give you the chance to answer, Mr. Okay. Wari. Here is a victim who said you, you directed his torture. You deny involvement. But you have no evidence. You have no witness. To prove that you were not there or you were not involved. You agree with that? No. 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 Sorry. You don't agree with that. What is your evidence that you were no. that you were not there? Let me come back to this thing. Like, how is somebody not the victim? Aramadelo actually, Harisam, we never could wait for a half hour. Mr. Salimina Drame is not a victim. Salimina Drame, why did we never could wait for a half hour? But they gave testimonies against me when it is not true. Why? I never could have had those two small calls. I'm not doing it. But do you realize that their testimonies almost support the testimony of the victims? Why? That's why we are not going to say they didn't figure it. And then again, we have many more who are not figuring it. That is their testimony. I cannot say that. But it's in this particular instance, it's not only 
Omar Dabo who has incriminated you in this particular incident. Why she been have her with her? No, come Omar Dabo right there. No, to the I'm not allowed. She have her with her alone. And who else? Akan. Ibrahim Abaro, could you play the video of Ibrahim Abaro's testimony? Ibrahim Abaro, I mean, you take video of Ibrahim Abaro, Kadoni. Did you hear his testimony, Ibrahim Abaro? Ibrahim Abaro, they don't say the incident to him. Is the businessman? Moi Jilabi. Um, is it the one who said he was being tortured and I was present? Yes. But Moi Kiyo Honda, then you could have met it and came on for one? Wow. That's Ibrahim Abaro. Koko Moi Ibrahim Abaro. You had his testimony. Yeah, the yeah. reason why I said it's not true. And, and, and Ibrahim Abaro also said that he was stripped naked. Ibrahim Abaro said And if you look at it, most of the tortures in which you are alleged to have been involved, the suspect was stripped naked. What do you say about Ibrahim Abaro? I said that's not true. Let me make it clear. Um, uh, there were testimonies before these people. Not on this particular subject. I testimony another person. Actually, this is the way and manner I was tortured. Could you, so I don't see this testimony. I saw the I these are not don't testimony. But the thing is, Mr. Barry, what is the thing? The difficulty you have with such an assertion is that, well, there were hundreds of people at the NIA with hundreds and hundreds of torture. But it is only this handful who we have in interviewed who incriminate you. Why you near me rec no lang wakana no ham no wakna me or bokangati? Why is that? I don't know. Come on, come on. You see, and you have no special relationship or encounters with these people which would warrant them to just look at you and say we incriminate this person. But it's very possible. I have won in the case of uh, Lamin Job. I'm not there, not here, Lamin Job. I have not yet come to that point. But I'm just telling you, these are possibilities. Yes, we can understand, we can understand that businesses may make mistakes. Date, time, and so forth. They can even make a mistake as to the name of the person. But in this particular instance, why would two victims, completely different, who have no connection with one another, make a mistake and mention you, two of them? What is it? <laughs> Omar Dabo mm -hmm. and Ibrahim Abaro. Omar Dabo and Ibrahim Abaro. Are you not saying of, of, of the same case that is Omar Dabo, Ibrahim Abaro, Dumo Saho and uh, Lalo Jaiti? Yes. Why are you saying that they have no connection? They have no connection apart from the fact that they were charged together and brought in the same place where they were tortured. Omar and Dabo. if both of them would say they were tortured, one say in your presence, the other said under your directions, the question would be why would these people say this? If there is no logical explanation, it would look like they are being truthful. Put your answer on the record. Said they are not truthful with uh, victims. No, And Mr. Barry, a trend is emerging. Mr. Barry, the the Persons arrested and brought to the NIA. Investigations get involved. 
you get involved. The person is tortured. All the victims mention you as their torturer. You say they are lying. And then your colleagues who who might have been present also incriminate you you say they are lying that trend is emerging and let's see this the first case we talked about it's the same thing you deny it completely. Uh, Omar, sorry, just a moment. Let me, uh, just a moment. Let me refer to my notes again. Just a moment. Yes, Omar Jata. Omar Jata. The same thing. Mommy. You deny it. And. Now Omar Dabo. Lady Omar Dabo. You deny. We deny. Ibrahim Abaro. Ibrahim Abaro. You also deny. No, we deny. It's the same trend. No, no, we are not we are All these people are lying against you. We are not Starting from 1995 to year 2000, all these victims are lying against you. Lako dare atum 1995 to atum 2000. We are not going to be able you want the commission to believe that? Do you want the commission to believe that? That is left to the commission. I am asking you to the commission direct. I am also telling you that it is left with the commission. Mangla wa hagna lulu mungida si commission direct. And in addition to that, Paolo Cantone. Paolo Cantone. Paolo Cantone. Incriminated you in torture. Wa hana na yabo kanga si ni committee tal. Almost along similar lines with the others. You deny that. Omar Juf Damfa. Omar Juf Damfa. You also deny. No, we deny that. Correct. Deny. Yes, correct. Wow, Mila. Degalo. And even your colleagues. Ninga hamne nyonga lige yandosa. Your senior. Ninga hamne nyola fete kwa kima. Who was almost de facto the future director general. Ninga hamne kusah mo tapanti njia. Harisam. Harisam. Incriminated you in the torture. You deny it. Your junior, Salmino Drame, also incriminated you in the torture. You also deny it. I think the denials is just flat and blanket. Hear yeah, no evil, see no evil, do no evil. Accept no evil. Mr. Chairman, I am not denying. Mr. Chairman, I am not denying. Mr. Chairman, I want to deny. Mr. Chairman, I am not These are the testimonies of these people. And not my testimony. Why do you to my card? My testimony is I am never involved. To my card, I am not involved. 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 Whatever style you may bring up, it is one flat answer. Mm -hmm. I am not involved. I am not involved. Yes, because that's not my moods. I hate it. I said I am not involved in tortures. Never. Nani dalbo kuma si tiki mitita. Certainly, that is not the reputation you had at the NIA. Lolo, na bei mo eji kubu mo hana mungo eji kubu wado kufika NIA. On the basis of the evidence provided by the victims. Bunko suka miko na kisa da yinga hamne ni laru kisa mbo panyo kufika. All of them paint you the picture. Of a person who would direct or organize the torture of victims, including electrocution. Well, we need to have a sometime or a book to meet it. We have to learn how to do it. We have to learn how to do it. We have That is what the victims say. That is what some of your colleagues say. We have to learn how to do it. We have to learn how to do it. One thing I will tell you, I am an old. I have been in a lot of machine or that place where electrocution has taken place. Well, Mr. Barry, the machine was apparently in your charge. Me. Machine, we are stop up. I have to say. Can you withdraw that? That is wrong. Mr. Barry, 
No, listen, yes, sir, let's, let's, listen, let me to, tell you this. listen to my word. No, you cannot make a sign. You cannot allege me here. Uh, no, my, to my yes, I don't even know this machine. I've never seen this machine. This machine, this I do you want to say that this machine was in my custody? Calm down. Can Yesterday I, we had a briefing. Calm down. down. We had a pre-trial briefing. Calm. calm down and listen, Good. and listen to the question. Yes. Just, just a second. Can I remind you that interpretation of our proceedings have basically two main purposes. One, that the country would get to hear what is going on here, as they are entitled them to. And secondly, an orderly uh, interpretation helps us put together the record. 10, 15, 20, 30 years of my hands, we are not going to be here. Those who are going to be looking at what happened here 22 years ago are going to be looking at that record. They need to understand it. We need to have an order in it. If you don't mind, let's go ahead, do the, um, have the proceedings um, in an orderly uh, manner. And uh, I think also we have to respect um, uh, the procedures of this um, commission. I said it earlier. I don't want to repeat it um, again. And uh, if there is a moment when those things are really getting out of order, you're going to have to issue um, a contempt. We don't want to get to that point. Excuse me? I'm addressing the commission as a whole. Okay. Please That's hold good. on. Second, you are, you are part of the proceedings. You don't want any confrontation, do you? Yeah, interpreters, if you can just continue. Council, please continue. Yes. Now, the question I posed is, I will now repeat my words verbatim. The torture machine was apparently under your charge. Right. And I did not say that out of a vacuum. The witnesses who appeared here said the machine was for investigations, under the charge of investigations, and you are the head of investigations. So you see, there is a basis for putting that assertion. I did not just plug it from the air. Chairman, I said no again. Mr. Chairman, man, did it. Um, do, do you want us to change? No, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, we no. just continue. No, no. Thank you. So you deny knowledge of that machine? I have never seen that machine. What machine? What machine? That machine you call for torturing. What kind of machine is it? I don't know. I don't know. I have not seen it. Well, Balo Kante said you electrocuted him with that machine. Balo Kante mune yow ya kom sok mas ag masin bo 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 Excuse me with due respect. Did Malo Kante say to you that machine was under my control, okay? Bal, bal, I told you what Balo Kante said. He <laughs> said you <laughs> electrocuted him with that machine. Mune yow ya kom mas ag masin bo bo I said no. Mane did it. Uh, but Samba Jalo said you held him by the neck and he was electrocuted with that machine. But Samba Jalo mune yati e batam bi nyudal di kujel sokko akurang bi, masko akurang bi. That's not true. Do they go? Omar, Omar Jata said you electrocuted him with that machine. Omar Jata, wah nane. Those who were present there. Wah nane mas na ko akurang wiki masin bo bi nolu, ak nifane ko. That's not true. No, do they go? And all these people are not connected. Can you whip a modern jokale? So they all choose to lie against for the body. No, they cannot accept the body. They are stupid as the truth. Well, it's no problem. I have no problem about that. Mister Chair, if I can, I don't know what number you are saying. I have never done. Golf, I have never done. But of course, man, you should accept it. Accept their testimonies. So, what do you mean, number? Number you are saying, Kabe? Do you want to see my card? 
I know you want to accept their testimonies. Uh, that's you, not my testimony. You, you, don't, you don't know what is in my head. Of course I do. Well, you can only guess. Yes. Even the devil knows not what is in man's mind. This, the state of a man's mind is like the state of his digestion. You cannot tell what is in my head. You're not a mind reader. But that's, that's, an, that's an aside. Yeah. Let's just move on with the issues. Uh, let's just move on with the issues. Uh, let's leave all these people. And now let's come to Ndurcha. The Ndurcha Pudeta. Pudeta Ndurchamba. There was wanton torture at the NIA premises during this investigation in which you are a part of. Correct? No, no. It was part of the investigation. What do you say? I repeat again. What do you repeat? You have said. You repeat it. Ah, okay. I, no, I thought you said you repeat again. Yes, I'll take it again. Uh, the proposition is after the alleged Nur Cham Kudesa in which there were arrests of Babu Jalha, Bunjab Dabo, Tamsir Jase was a camera, Al Faba, Yaya Dabo, Omar Fal Keita, Faring Sanyang, Per Mendi, and Alujo. There was wanton torture of these people at the NIA premises. During the course of the investigations which you were part of. Yes, Chairman, I was part of the investigations. Well, Chairman, do you accept that tortures were going on during the investigations? Well, well, uh, indeed, all the witnesses who appeared here accepted that there were tortures. Massive tortures. And all the witnesses suggest that there was a system, there was a modus operandi. Uh, Alaji Martin said as follows. Alaji Martin Lilawa. Paraphrased in my own words. Of course there was a system. These suspects are brought before the panel. If they do not confess. They are taken away and beaten. They are brought back. And they will confess. That was the system. Is that true? I don't know of that, but I know there was torture. This is one of the reasons why I was taken to mile two, because I tried to stop the torture. Three times, and ask them to tell these people to stop the torture. My wife, Kelly, we are tortured. Mr. Barry, you told us earlier. Uh -huh. you Mr. Barry, you told us earlier. You did not know the reason why you were taken to mile two. You told us earlier. You told us earlier. You told us earlier. That must be the reason. That must be the only reason. No, so it's now a guess. It's not a matter of certainty. It is a guess. It must be the only reason that is guesswork, isn't it? The um, reason why I said so, I remember one senior officer telling me, so it's better you stop talking or saying these things. If not, it's not the <laughs> Which senior officer? I believe Usman. Is it Sonko? Usman Sonko. 
because he's not available. He's mm -hmm. not available. Mahmoud Yakofi. He's alive. I'm here to know. And if you think we would have access to him to come and testify, I'd be happy to have him sit, sit, sit there and answer questions. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that is not a realistic prospect, is it? Well, we have had Haidara. He testified. He did not say that you accepted the tortures. But he did not say that you complained to Sonko to stop the tortures. Why? How come he never told you that Sonko by you make it a little bit more technical? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, as far as I know, I was the only one. Ya kana mangat lawan. Who went through the, who went against these tortures? Ko kame da. As far as I know, we don't deny that it is a lie. Come, nina kame lo la chakara. Harisambu, did he? Go along with the tortures. Hari Sambo, I'm not going to meet you till you're done the food. I've never heard him complaining. But they go, must not they go and quote our day. Lam Tombong Tamba, did he go along with the tortures? Lam Tombong Tamba, I'm not going to meet you. Usman Songko, did he go along with the tortures? Usman Songko, I'm not going to meet you till you're done. Must quote our day. Momodo Haidara. Did he go along with the torture? No, no, the higher and the military will be on them. So, what are the so? Did he go along with the tortures? Then, so, and the military will be on them. Was them around? And then, when you were just. No, I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Was, he was part of the panel. He was the police head of the members of the panel. Okay. So, in effect, there, it looks like there was no objection to the tortures. Because the only objection that you can recall is your objection to somebody who is not available. And that person has accepted the tortures, according to you. You are darling, I'm not fucking like you. My, I'm not buying any chicken. I'm having a cook. I'm not cooking for what they are. We're having a mom and the French living down there. Living away. Now, for certain, the teller complained to Mr. Usman Songko. That is certain. I want now to look at Usman Songko. When you complained, did the tortures stop? Banga dinga te na dumbere miti kaliyo. Bata hano ni ba yiko. Do you believe it was wrong? That was why I complained. Do you believe it was unlawful? That was why I complained. Let's answer the question, the yes or the no. It was unlawful. Do you believe it was criminal? What is that? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. something may not be lawful, but does it mean it is criminal? Okay. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I choose my words carefully. It was criminal also. Okay. Okay, or you agree? It was criminal. Mr. Chairman, I said I know it was unlawful. Mr. Chairman, what come now in the deputation again? I put it to you that it was criminal. It is, it is contra, it is an act that is punishable by law. From you that it was criminal. Oh, you did not know that? No. I know it was unlawful. So tell me, you did not know that it was criminal? So I know it was unlawful. Mr. Bani, you're hiding behind that answer. I'm not. Come out and answer the question directly. No, no, no. Why do you hide that? I'm not doing that. That's the truth. You are a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. But if you are not a lawyer, just accept the fact that... You want me to accept? No, accept the fact that you did not know that note of it. Let's take note of it. I accept it. You are legally incorrect. I will accept that it is from your own testimony. I will accept. I am not testifying. But 
You, you are, are the one testing. You are right? suggesting. You are telling me. Yes, my role is to do that. Yes. Okay. Now do I said fine. Do you accept it was criminal? From your own point of view, yes, it's criminal. Uh, so from the point of view of the law, not from my own point of I view. I don't know the law. Only lawyers know where to find it or how to find it. I don't know. But Mr. Barry, you can't be leading investigations. You are a very senior officer. You almost 40 something years experience. You're much more seasoned than anybody in this country when it comes to criminal investigations. You definitely knew that beating a person is criminal. It's unlawful. <laughs> and what is the sanction? For slapping a person, for beating the person, what is the sanction? You know the law of assault, don't you? Yes. That is criminal, isn't it? unlawful. But it's a crime, isn't it? Like you said, yes. I knew you would agree. Because the most popular phrase in the police is assault causing grievous bodily harm. All mm. police officers know that word. Mm. Pure false. <laughs> this is the like from my the, the no cap. You're not wearing the no cap because assault causing serious bodily harm or grievous bodily harm uh, uh, that is known by all police I, officers. I spend 90% of my life with the CID. Look, but it's a CID. It's a CID. It's a CID. All right. I, well, it would be strange that a person at your level would not know that an assault is a crime. It's unlawful to assault anybody. And is there a sanction attached to it? That if you assault somebody, this would be the consequence? This would be the penalty? Excuse me. I said that is where I explained to you that I don't know that is it, is it, Isn't this in fact the reason why there is the culture of torture at the NIA? Because NIA officers did not seem to accept or understand or appreciate the fact that beating people is torture and that it is criminal. Well, if you don't know, then who would know? Some other person may know. Well, the, we have had one of your colleagues, in fact, all of them. They said torture was the culture at the NIA. In fact, 90% of officers would torture. And it was accepted. It was the norm. It was the culture. It was the way of doing things. Not during the time I was there. Well, you were there when torture was worse at the NIA. 2006 torture could not have been worse than that. Why, young for what the money in a hammer? Mugalin don't take me to tell again or not tarfu for the NIA. Not to happen 2006. I'm a bank at the Kogan and Mitty. Mr. Bunny, did you, did you put in a reservation to the report that was produced by that panel in which you sat? The 2006 Did you put in a reservation? At 2016, Did you put in a reservation? I don't even know that there was a report. Come on, sir. I'm not report of an echo. Reason being, I was arrested well before the end of that investigation. Did, did you at any stage write or state something official protesting those confessions that were obtained as the evidence that was unlawfully obtained? It was going to be suicide. I said it was going to be a suicidal thing. Well, not a caro tell on
Why do you say it was going to be a suicidal thing? Luka nga wahne lulu bolen ko bola yon ki sen report yon la famen li dangen di kharu. Lulu, what was happening at the time? Ndi kapna lem modon dok si jamano bulu. Because I remember at one point, when the issue of Marina came up, I remember when Mr. Sambu came and started saying, well, Marina and others have escaped. So I couldn't tell you the marina I know would not escape. Never. Look. Then I started asking questions. Where? The scene. Fanla am. Fanla. Who were the escorts? Can you take us to the scene? Then he said to me. If you want to know anything further, so we have learned the facility. Write the question here. Or bend the letter. And I will take it to state house. May you book a state house. When for your phone, I will run for Amanda Madoff. Yeah, I told him that you think that I am mad. Yes. We have received that evidence. Well, fine. I get my phone card. I'm sure you must have heard it. I have no idea what happened. I think I went up to the extent of walking out of his office at one point. I'm not being a man. I was not an officer. To be in the election in Japan. Well, I don't know much about the tithing, so I would not say anything about that. I started around the 24th of March, and 7th of April I was arrested. Where you were for the confession of Bunja Dabo? No, honestly, no. Did it. Were you there for the confession of Wasakamara? I only saw his confession over the TV at my house. Were you there for the confession of Omar Falketa? Were you there? Yes. Well, then you could not have been to the panel on the 28th of March. It's certainly earlier. Mike. Certainly much, much earlier. Because Omar Fall was arrested on the 3rd of what? Of March. 23rd of March. Yes, okay. It could be. Yes, 23rd. Yes. Now, what are you saying now? Thank you very much, Mike. Because when I entered, the first time I entered there, it was in the evening time. It was not the 28th of March. It was earlier. I have not quoted any bit. Mr. Barry, you did. Me? No, you said 28th of March. Can you go back? Can you go back? Mr. Barry. Yes. Can you go back? Please, let us not waste the commission's time. Mr. Barry, don't you want to go back? I am telling you. If I have done so, it's out of mistake. For the date. But I remember. You can accept that. Yes, I would accept that. If I have done so, like you said. If you accept you have you have made a mistake, fine. But to suggest that you did not say so would not paint you in a good light because okay, I know I would say that I have made a mistake. But when I went into that office, that panel that day, that night, mm -hmm. I saw Omar Fall, mm -hmm. like the, like, Musa Jami and others were pulling his beard, and they cut it, they shaved it. I'm telling you. So I said, and, to, and that was torture. I said to Musa, Look, stop these things. Why are you doing these things? Well, Omar Fall does not have that recollection. Omar Fall does not have that He does not have such a recollection that you intervened and interceded on his behalf. Of course, Omar He does not have that recollection. Look, look, look. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. I have gone beyond that. Yes, I'm not sure about the commission. About Omar Fall. Omar Fall, in me. Now, what I'm going to say is. This I have done, whether he is recollected or not, this I have done. And I stop the point, the point I am making is, some of you may not see, Omar Fahl came to my house before the commission, before he appeared. Omar Fahl knew us, but I knew us to the commission. The Ben Neon, the Nyarion. And there were statements that he told me. And there were statements that he told me. So I leave it to rest as of now. I leave it to rest as of now. Uh, yesterday I had a pre-briefing with you, pre-trial briefing with you. Yes. Mr. Chairman, let me tell you one thing. I don't easily tell lies. Whilst you investigate, fine. 
more guest on I also know that there are things that we are going on, and I told you one of one or two of those things. Uh, let's focus on the issues for technology. It's the same issue. Let's focus on the issues. It's the same. Uh, sorry, okay, let's go ahead. It, it, it's all right. It, hmm? it's, it's all right. Yes. Yes. Sorry, okay, let's go ahead. I am not suggesting that all of you accepted or wanted the tortures that were going on. Man, I want to mention that yen yen andangen wala bugangen mitital binga ham ne mumlen yon teknik ni fofa. But the evidence suddenly, certainly suggests that all of you acquiesced, all of you tolerated the tortures. Why na kadu inchi wah mo wiral ne yen yep andangen chilo nga ham ne mo mitital binga yon teknik ni. Not in my case, never. So you suggest that yours was the only, the lone voice against the torture? That one, you that one I know of. So yeah, in fact, you have incriminated all your colleagues as complicit to torture. I don't know whether they are implicated or not, but this was my stance. But the fact remains that you did not do anything to make it known that those confessions were illegally obtained. You agree with us? Mr. Chairman, do I will not try, I will not even try that, I will not do it. Why do you say it was deadly? It could have happened to me. Because the atmosphere then, Explain the situation so that the commission would understand. Explain the situation. If you want to do or say otherwise, Mr. Chairman, when I was arrested, excuse me, I have never thought of my in life. When I was arrested, I was taken to Sarakunda Police. From there to Kotu. Then, I started wondering what is happening. Sarakunda Kotu, isolation. Sarakunda Kotu, Niberma. But that was normal, Mr. Barry. That's the way you and your colleagues. Let me ask my question. That's the way you and your colleagues operated. No. Never. But, but the NIA, in fact, you never. NIA had safe houses where they would keep people incommunicado. NIA. You did not know that the NIA had safe houses. Oh, Mr. Chairman. But just answer my question. You did not know that the NIA had safe houses. Let's put aside this drama. I don't, Mr. Chairman. I don't. How much? That the NIA had safe houses. No, I don't. But you also did not know that there was Bambadinka at the NIA, according to your statement. Bambadinka. Where is Bambadinka? Bambadinka. Where is Bambadinka? Who go to the NIA? There is no where you call Bambadinka. So what do you mean the NIA? I'm afraid for you at Bambadinka. Like I had Mr. How do you call him again? Mr. Bachsamba saying that there is this whole, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, there is no question. If a person is dazed and disillusioned and uh, cannot even tell whether it's day or night, cannot even see the sun, of course, if the person is taken upstairs, taken downstairs, up and down, the person would not even end up knowing where exactly the person is. This is, this is normal. But anyway, that's a matter for the Commission to look into later. But Mr. Barry, for your information, we can tell you that there is a place called Bamba Tinka at the NIA, whether you accept it or not, that is a fact. Why, Mr. Barry, I don't know if you can tell me that 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 you can after how many years at NIA, from 1995 
to 2003, that's eight years. 2002. 2002, that's seven years. Well, if you, you were first sat in 2003, not 2002. At the NIA, 2002. And then what happened? You moved to NDA. Is that it? Well, police. your statement, I think, said 2003. But whatever it is, the police. To the police. 2003. Okay. And then back to, well, NDEA or whatever. Still collaborating with NIA. You don't know there is Bamba Dinka. Bamba Dinka was so notorious that even the kids in town can't tell you about Bamba Dinka. Yeah. That is how legendary it had become. You are NIA. You are You are You are what I am saying is, Mr. Bajsamba, Bamba Dinka Bimowa, Mr. Bajsamba, the Bamba Dinka is saying up. Mune Labas Labun Gas Tabaco, say a place where it is deep and built. Sell Laneka, Falenko, Falenko dwell. And there is a cell there, that's where he was kept. Bamba Dinka Bubula, Wahne, our Musumoko, this NIA. That's the Bamba Dinka I was saying that they have never seen the Bamba Dinka. Bamba Dinka, you know, you know, I'm NIA. Why Musuma just normally walk me? Mugi and I a plus with gas not tobacco. We make a sickle, we make a sickle. I cannot see that but, Bamba Dinka. But Mr. Barry, that is the problem with your statement. Munna am NIA. Munna, man, I'm not going to am 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 not going to the Bamba Dinka as described by Mr. Bajsamba Jallo does not exist. Does not Why Bamba Dinka Munna Am NIA? That is the that is the last part of your statement. But that is the problem, Mr. Barry. That is the problem with your statement. You sitting here telling the commission that you did not know that there is a place called Bamba Dinka at NIA. I don't, Mr. Chairman. I don't. How much? You want to force me to know to say that I know that there will be a place for Bamba Dinka? Mr. Barry, I, I, I want to tell you that this is the most shocking testimony received so far at the, in a, at the TRRC. Well, let me put it to you. Why? Well, I, 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 it baffles me, it shocks me. Well, everybody says, these people say you put them in Bambadinka. You ordered them to be put in Bambadinka. <laughs> and you sit here and claim you did not know that a place called Bambadinka existed at the NIA. Everybody in NIA called it Bamba Dinka. That's news to me. Well, the commission would assess your answers and they would make a decision on that. So these guys, in that council, they reference them um, to that Bamba Dinka from uh, the 28th January um, testimony by Jaksama Sama Jalo goes back um, to the point where he was uh, electrocuted. Yes. He gave him a uh, uh, testimony that one uh, through different areas, his ears, his mouth, his toes, and his genitals. You asked him, can you tell us some who was involved in the exercise. Baba Saho for the Bari, Marena, and the Musa Kinte. You arrived at the NIA headquarters at 7 a.m. For how long did they continue electrocuting you? They were shocking me, that's how we put it, beating me, insulting me from 7 till late at night. Then I was transferred to Bamba Dinka 2. This is from the testimony, there is a transcript. One yeah, wonders yeah. How, he, how he would come to know about Bamba Dinka if he 
was not exposed to it. Yeah, but that, well, is, well, that well, is a matter for the commission to look into. For the, uh, Mr. Barry, you would be the first director of investigations at the NIA who would not know Bamba Dinka. You are Mr. Barry. You are the NIA who is director of NIA who is the director of NIA. NIA. But you would accept that it is really shocking. Why do you not know that you are the director of NIA? What is shocking? Your lack of knowledge of the place called Bamba Dinka. You are the director of NIA who is the director of Bamba Dinka. Not to me anyway. It's not shocking. For your information. For your information, it's the place where you used to detain some of your suspects. Like I said, I'm not aware of the place. Let's go back to these tortures. You know that all these suspects in their double Amsir Jase was a camera, Alpha Bahia Yadavo, Omar Fal, Farin Sanyang, Per Mendi Ali Job. They were all prosecuted. That's true. And they were prosecuted on the basis of the evidence that was gathered in that uh, botch investigations. And they challenged, all of them challenged the admissibility of the confessions that were illegally obtained from them. And none of you who were involved in these investigations ever came out to say that these confessions were obtained as a result of torture. Are you, I, do you agree with that? Do you agree that nobody came out to say that these confessions and no one will come out? No one. To come together. And as a result of which, well, on that one, well, everybody here has now <coughs> accepted that that was wrong. You accept that that was wrong? Torture? No, the fact that all of you kept quiet. And as a result of which, these people were sentenced to death, <coughs> some to life imprisonment, and some to long terms of imprisonment. Mr. Chairman, I, I recall that night, because normally I go to the office once in a while, I found Thompson Jasse in cuffs. I found Thompson Jasse in cuffs. Crying bitterly. So I just entered and I said to him, General, like this is the name I used to call him, General. What is, what happens? Memo Fu, 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 Memo up to this time, honestly, I couldn't take it. No work. I think that is the other time. Them now up to Lantombong. I think this time is Lantombong, if my memory serves me. Them now busy Lantombong. I went up to Lantombong. Don't want some guy in Bali. I told him that, sir, why don't you tell your people to stop this people? Yes. This is attempted three times. We have received that evidence. Attempted that three times. If not because the case of Abdullah Kujabi, I did it in the case of Abdullah Kujabi. Sir Jase. I'm Sir Jase. And who else? If not because the case of that Mr. I did it in many cases, even that of Omar Fal. Yes. Well, Omar Fal did not say that. Why did Omar Fal move on? 
But we have received this evidence from Momodo Haidara with regards to the Kujabi case. But not Wasa. Why do Wasa? Because, uh, in fact, Momodo Haidara denied that Wasa was tortured. Hmm. So we have received that evidence suggesting that you protested some of the torture with regard, especially with regards to Abdullah Kujabi that we have. Abdullah Kujabi. All I can do is bring out the evidence whether it favors you or whether it is against you. My job is to bring out the evidence. Because we are neutral in all of them. You just bring out the evidence. But let's even assume or let's accept, let's assume that the Commission accepts that yes, you have protested. But you have protested to somebody who is complicit in these tortures. Why you danga? Sorry. You have protested. Why danga bang? To somebody who is complicit, who accepted these tortures. That is Usman Sanko. So the protest was very ineffective. You agree with that? When, 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 when Tamsir Jasa was also tortured, but the point I'm making is that the protest was ineffective. Because you made it to somebody who is, who is Complicit in this torture. Mr. Barry, you know you could have written to the court to say that uh, you were present in these investigations and all these confessions were unlawfully obtained. Let me say I, I really respect this counsel. If not, I Mr. would have Barry. given you an answer. Mr. Barry. Uh, no, 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 no. Mr. Barry. No. Just, I told could you, you kindly listen? Could you listen? Uh, I may ask a question and you think it is foolish or stupid. Let me, let me just, just hear me out. Just hear let me, me out. out. Let me give you an answer. No, hear me out first. Okay. It is not. The reason why these questions are asked is because these are issues. They may be in your favor, they may be against you. But for us, asking the questions, we have to ask the relevant questions. You may have an answer that will help the Commission to understand why certain actions happened or did not happen. You understand? So the question may appear stupid to you, to the extent that you may think that you should give a rude answer. No. Sorry, I'm not being No, no what I'm can saying is to the extent you? that you may think that perhaps one could give a rude answer which is something you are refusing to do. That's why you're saying you want to respect the commission. So I'm telling you that it's no, not it like not, that. It's not going to be a rude answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's answer the question. Mm -hmm. And before we answer that, can mm -hmm. we address about this word rude? Because I don't want to be rude. Or I don't have any intention but, but, to be but rude. I, I, thought, I thought this is very scary. I am, I am saying that the question may evoke an answer that would be rude. But you are refusing to give a rude answer. That's why you say you want to respect the commission. So we're talking about the same thing, I guess. What are you saying? Are you making an inference that I was going to make a rude answer? No. No. I, am, I, am, I am not making an inference. I am expressly saying you do not want to be rude to the commission. My That's what you say. So I don't want you to say to me. I don't like that word rude. But he rude do when he yara de kusolo la bugut. Please, 
Uh, Mr. Barry, let me withdraw that. If, if, if that causes you so much inconvenience, yeah, really, I do not really, really, I do not see anything wrong. No, I said really. If you withdraw it, I'm okay. Of course I withdraw it, okay, because you, we, we are not here to say anything that, that is considered abusive by anybody or rude by anybody for that matter. Sir, can we go ahead? So, answer the question. I'm told him a You could have. No Written to the court. In the court. Be. Or make it known. Well, some way. Ne, that these confessions were unlawfully obtained. That's a possibility, you say. Mm -hmm. but none of you did anything. Why can't you end the food Correct? On my own, I did not. My only, the only thing that I have done is to protest and say this is wrong. As a result, these people were sentenced to long terms of imprisonment in reliance of on those confessions that we are unlawfully obtained. How do you feel about that? Yes, but that was really wrong. Waroton, Jadut. Exactly. Uh, do you do you regret having been part of that panel? panel um, I would not say regret, but actually, um, after having known what was happening. I was not happy with it. I expressed my feelings. And I don't know what Who do you think was responsible for what happened at that panel? Can we talk about more what I hear on for the panel? No, I don't know. Are you avoiding to say? About what? Who was responsible? And uh, excuse me, avoid what? Avoiding to say who was responsible. And I don't well, I would not. Know. If I know the individual, I would not. Well, Remember, I have been detained for 18 months. But I have nothing to fear or avoid anybody. But because I would not call you names or I would not name names and actually I do not know about their involvement or whether they are the people responsible. In your view, mm -hmm. who was the most powerful person in that panel? Yes, yes, yes. I will say the most powerful. Hopefully, it was When you talk about authority, yes. As far as I know, the most senior at the time was Mr. Lantombo Tamba. Would you say he bears responsibility for what happened there? Did he bears responsibility? Mm -hmm. I would not say that, really. did it. Why not? Because he could so again, again, it is a very important question in spite of the ideas it may evoke. The question is why would you say He's not responsible. Um, uh, one thing I am certain of is uh, there were people who actually, I believe, that the man could not have controlled them. Who were those people? I know one or two like um, uh, Musa Jambe and uh, how do you call him again? Tumbulutamba. They were instrumental in what? For these acts of torture and all the rest. Which were taking place at that time. And do you think those people would have organized and, and uh, ensured those tortures just because they wanted to? Is there, is there any 
Yeah, it's very possible. Una neta? Do you think they would have, must have, necessarily would have had instructions from somewhere higher? From one end of the name, I'm a legal genius. If you name for him, the more than a correct. Mr. Chairman, but I may not know. Well, no, I don't want to say anything that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Barry, are you running away from from the fact that the authority comes from State House? Yeah. That the authority of those people, Tumbul Tamba, Musa Jame, those that authority came from State House. See, this is the point. I have written to say about that authority. I had so many experiences about authority. So if I have anything, and I believe that that is the fact, I would say. Um, is it true that the authority came from State House? Again, I may not know, definitely. I was not talking to that authority directly. Madam <laughs> okay. Wherein those people sent from State House. I think they were attached to State House. Those people have been working at the State House. I know Musa Jame was at the State House. And Alaji House. And Martin as well. He was present there at the panel, wasn't he? Alaji Martin. See, has he not traveled with the president during that time? That took you to the president, Mr. Jamano mm -hmm. Well, at the time of the panel, the president had already ah, yes, returned. Yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. And he also came from State House. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. Well, he said he was there. I know you feel that I am just saying I don't know, I don't know. That panel. Then I was on my way going to my family home in Bakao. Around the gulf, that traffic light. traffic light. Then he said to me, for the body. No man for the body. Said to me, Hichi. Said I tried you. I was trying to get right. you. Mr. Bong said you are out of town. I said no, I am here. Do you know his residence? I said no. Then he is the one who directed me to Langtombong's house. Do you know what is happening? I said no. He said go to Langtombong. We'll explain to you. I want you to come back to the office. And then, there is the case of the office. Make sure that I have an interim report. So, doesn't that indicate the, 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 the urgency of the matter? Yes. Did it that indicate the desire of the president to have results expeditiously? Yes. The, the mere fact that you have three officers mm -hmm. from State House who mm -hmm. are deployed to, to see what was going on in the panel, doesn't that indicate the interest of the president on the matter? See, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, one thing about that um, uh, case is when I was called, from what I gathered, you know, the conclusion is that he was not definitely, he has no trust again about those soldiers from Soldier. I had a discussion with him. 
Because at one point even I said to him, no. Mr. President, Lang is a hard-working person. Lang For him, mom, and every one of them, even for Musa Jami, he Musa Jami, suspected them to be part of it. But he listened to you. Why yes. uh, At that point in time, let me tell you one thing about him. Whenever he needs the service, he has a big problem. At that time, at that time, did you tell him that tortures were ongoing? People were being forced to confess? No, no, no. How would I know? After you have started, you saw these tortures going on. Then I have no more access to him. Then I have no more access to him. You could have written to him, you know. No, it will not happen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, remember that there was a senior. And I can have bypassed them. But you could have resigned. You could have resigned and say, I will not be part of this. But if, if it is a foolish suggestion, say it. You know, but you could have resigned. It was an option. Anyway, it was difficult to answer the question because these are the things we need to know. The circumstances that surround it, the, the things that you have in is, mind, the calculations you made. I'm going through my experience as far as this case is concerned. This is why uh, I have it very tough part. But if you don't say it, mm -hmm. it will remain with you, and the commission would not know. Yeah, let it be. Let it be. These are one of the commandments I have. Let it be. Well, it's your case. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, it's your okay. case. All I can do, see, I'm um, uh, like it is said from Ninkawahe. It was completely during that time. It was completely a military zone. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, completely. And and who do you think was responsible for that? It's no other person other than the how do you call him again? Ah, you forgot his title? Oh, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> it's not um, uh, Commander in Chief. <laughs> I thought you forgot <laughs> his title. <laughs> no, Did you forget his name also? I told you one thing. I have no more interest in these things. Well, well Mr. Barry, unfortunately, this Republic of the Gambia has an interest in this. That is why it is spending millions. To go to the bottom of these things, this is absolutely important for our country because it shows who we are as a people. What I'm saying, I'm Mr. Barinat Limon, what you say Gambia. that have you forgotten? Well, you seem to have forgotten who is. It's not seems to, I have forgotten really. You have forgotten to Commander in Chief. You have forgotten who was Commander in Chief too. No, he is. I know he is. Mr. Who Gambia. is he? Mr. Mr. Gambia, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So Yaya Jame was responsible for all these tortures, wasn't he? Mr. Barry, you are top season investigator. You knew exactly what was going on. We have heard from Muhammad Haidara. He said, you guys protested to Langtobong Tamba and Musa Jame. And Musa Jame responded. Musa Jame come to. Keba Mako. Mune, Kilifagime. I'll tell me something like you guys are feeling sympathy. Mel ni yen dal dangen am a yir man de chiko ni. For this accused person. Ni yen gaham ni yon len two man. Is that true? Nigala. Honestly, again, Mr. Hara did not say that I was present at the time. Mr. Haider was never there. 
He said members of the panel. The question is, no, no, no. did you hear? Did you hear? No, no, no. I did didn't. Not. I didn't. Like, the 14 days I had with them. It's not even 14 days. I cannot count to say that I have been there for more than five times even. You see, one thing I was lucky uh, to do was, there was a night he was talking to Tumbulutamba. Who was, to, who was talking to Tumbulutamba? Mr. Uh, the President. 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 Name? Wayajame. Wayajame. So I said to Tumbulutamba, I want to talk to him. Because then I have a very serious concern. And that was about Mr. Antumange and others. Mr. Antumange and Nyenen. Then when I talked to him, I said to him, look, sir, can you please help me release these people? Because these people are never involved in this. These are civilians. And uh, there is nothing, I don't think the military will take over and hand over to these people as civilians. One thing I know is Mr. Gay has no interest in any politics. Because again, he has interest on Mr. Gay. Who had interest on Mr. Gay? Mr. Gay. I'm talking about the same person. He said to me, Mr. Barry, can you go and release them? So I said to my mind, so I said to him, okay, let me talk to Lang he's the most senior. At the time I told him, okay, let me talk to most senior. At the time I told him, okay, let me talk to Lang most senior. He said, why? He said, what is Lang Tombong doing at the panel? And I told him, he's definitely there, he's supporting. He said to me, no. He said to me, no. He said to me, no. And from there, I made my deductions and I knew when they would come in, it's going to take care of Mr. Tambo. That is what happened. But of course, not only were you smart and savvy enough to make those deductions. And in actual fact, let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Yes. Not only were you smart and savvy enough to make those deductions about Langtombo, you were smart and savvy enough to know who was in charge mm -hmm. of what was going on in those panels. Mm -hmm. Who was that person? Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame. Finally, 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 have landed. Finally. <laughs> So, so, so Yaya Jame, so actually, I was lucky that he heeded to my request, and then these people were released. Good. Did you tell him that uh, these accused persons were being tortured, and that evidence was falsely being obtained from them? Did you tell him that? 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 Did you tell that? But you, you had the courage to tell him that here are these respectable notables in our society. Mm -hmm. They have done nothing. Yeah. And of course he yeah. appreciated that instance, He appreciated what you told him. The advice you gave him, didn't he? He in fact released them. Yes, of course. Yet you would not tell him that the evidence that was being obtained was fraudulent. But, but don't you think that that is a dereliction of duty? It was a dereliction of duty. You failed to carry out your responsibility. You knew he was the person in charge. It can you knew he was the person in authority when, when the atmosphere at the time is normal. But the atmosphere was. You could tell him that here are these people who committed no crime and did not deserve to be here. And he accepted. Yeah, man, I did not tell him, but at one point, you did not tell him, or you did tell him? 
I did not tell him that. Okay. But at one point, I told the panel members, definitely, I for one, I spoke correct against these people because the evidence is not there. If I were to give my report, I would suggest that these people be discharged from their duties. They be paid off. I even said, let them be put into the foreign services because these are military officers. Some of them are senior. Some you pay them off, and then you put them in. Some you put them into the uh, foreign services. You realize that that is not born out of the record. Not, record. That is not in the record of proceedings. Why? You asking me? Hmm? I was in there. You were. Yeah, because uh, that's the only thing I can do. Tell them that definitely the evidence is not there. What I am suggesting to you is that that is not in the record of the proceedings. There is nothing suggesting in the record that Mr. Fodebari is saying that there is no evidence and that these confessions were unlawfully obtained. If such a report had gone to AG Chambers, these people would not have been Mr. Chairman. I had in one of the testimonies of Mr. Tamsir Jassin. He Mr. Chairman, that. The what did he Tamsir say? Jassin, that Mr. Barry has said to the panelists that there is no evidence against these soldiers. Yeah, Mr. Barry, generally, generally, I remember a lot of these things. I can't definitely remember that. But I would not. No, you go to his testimony, you see it. We would do that. The commission would do that. Mm -hmm. But even if that were to be the case, huh? if you protest mm -hmm. to people who are in fact <laughs> doing exactly what you're protesting about, mm -hmm. and you fail to tell the person who is responsible and could stop it, it failed so that you failed in your duty. You just went along with what was going on. Well, if that is the concept of the commission, I'm good with it. Well, we the commission. Look, I am giving you the opportunity to answer to these questions because these are questions that one would have to consider when they make decisions. Well, so answer the question. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Mr. Chairman. But here, in another way, the way I am seeing it is, you were asking me to commit suicide. No. No. If, if, no. if I told you that the environment was suicidal, look, uh, I look. cannot tell Mr. President that, look, these people, they are not this, but I can tell but, my fellow officers. But you could tell the President that these people did not commit a crime, really? Yes, because those are civilians and he knows. But he was interested in the military officers. So I mean, I civilian, you know, but, look, but you could have told him that, Mr. President, you want the law to be applied. The law is not being applied here. The law is being violated. People are being tortured. Well, that would have been suicidal. Is that your testimony? Of course, yes. Wow. yes I stand by it. Mm -hmm. okay. Apart from that, uh -huh. you have the legal office there, the law and uh, ministry of justice. Yes, but the ministry of justice was not told about that, that these people were being tortured or were tortured. Hmm. <laughs> Minister of Justice. Okay. Did, you, did you tell the Minister of Justice? There was no time for me because I was already in mile two. But at mile that. two you were there together with these accused persons, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. So, did, did you volunteer to be a witness in their case? Okay, we move on. We leave, we leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Before you move on, um, witness, can you just confirm your response to counsel when he raised the point about uh, uh, you possibly resigning when uh, um, you were the only one protesting the torture of the witnesses? I was. He, he asked you why didn't you resign? We had a, we got to a similar point I, 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 during I, I, Elijah Martin's um, testimony, mm -hmm. and uh, we have on record what his response was. What's your response to Council's query about why you didn't resign when 
he realized that uh, these people were all being tortured to obtain confessions. Well, I didn't do so, and uh, I couldn't have done so, really. And uh, actually, I was trying to protect myself again. Counselor, you may continue. Okay, uh, let's now move on. Uh, I, will, <coughs> I will put aside the issue of Momo de Job. Lamin Job. Lamin Job. Lamin Job. Momo de Job. He is tortured. Why? Uh, because I don't have any evidence against what you have said. I did not have time to further investigate it, but the Commission would note uh, what you have answered, and that uh, on that basis the Commission would make some findings, mm -hmm. if there is no subsequent other evidence uh, in, on the matter. If there is anything against what you have said, it would be brought to your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman. Uh, now let's talk about Holgam. Mm -hmm. uh, you were uh, moved to Holgam after you were uh, NDEA. Sorry, NDEA, yes. And now here you are to Holgam, NDEA, more you to have medicine. And while at NDEA, you were involved at the Holgam complex. At the Holgam complex, mm -hmm. you were involved in the illegal detention of many people. Uh, 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 among those senior officers that detained suspects at Holgam unlawfully. No, Chairman. Did it, Chairman. These were instructions I have from the then Director General, now late, Mr. Benedict Jame. Mr. Barry, would you, agree, would you agree with, okay, let's say, you implemented the instructions that you received, correct? Yes, sir. And those instructions were to detain these people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. And you detained them according to instructions. And do you realize that these detentions were unlawful? Yes. Well, chairman. Why did you do it? I have no other option. Mr. Barry, do you have your instructions? Like, Mr. Barry, it is not an excuse to violate the law because you were asked to violate the law. Mr. Barry, I'm a very law I, I, Mr. Chairman, in fact, I because, in fact, the Constitution of the Republic requires you not to obey Unlawful command. Register your answer again. I said I quite agree. Nanguna. So by doing this on by complying with this unlawful order, you have also contributed in the violation of the rights of people by unlawfully detaining them. Of course, through the instructions I received. Well, the director general. Uh, we have a list here. I'm not, I told him I'm near. 
Solo Manga. Solo Manga. Abdullahi Bojang. Abdullahi Bojang. Buba Baji. Buba Baji. Bakari Jamme. Bakari Jamme. Excuse and me. And Bakari me. Dahaba. Bakari Dahaba. Let me, let, me, let me just give a statement here mm -hmm. concerning one of these detainees from prisons. I think these are prison officers yes. brought from State House. Mm -hmm. Now, one of them, Abdullahi Bojang. Um, Abdullah Bojan. I remember he pleaded to me to say actually there was no one at home and he has not his fish money here and there. Yeah, we don't check which man like me. I'm going to make a ticket to pay them and they pass them down. That's all I got now. That was on a Saturday. We not busy Sunday long because I went on a visit in Rams. Da, da madam on the first city. Up to the boy, I'm not even on the phone. So I took him on board my car because I live around the same area up to the junction of his compound. I dropped him and gave him money. And I said to him, boy, boy, don't you ever go to Kanilai. Don't try it. Can you do me a favor? Only Monday morning. At seven o'clock, last seven. Rushed to the office. Got them to office. Was he pleaded to me? Ah, that's why. That's why. Mr. Bai, actually, I wouldn't know this fellow. Yeah. 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 Ben, we don't want to learn. We don't need to talk about bike. Actually, I agreed. Did anything happen to you? No, I'm not allowed. Did you pull it to the man? I'm not allowed. But apart from this group, detention at Holdem. Gambia Kuregi, we don't have Holdem. In violation of the rights of Gambians. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do a Gambia. Was a common phenomenon. No, no, no. We don't follow the formula. No, not, not. Can you give me the list? Let me, let me clear this thing. After we left, but now there was this uh, Operation Bulldozer taking over. Operation Bulldozer. He only spent a year or two. And and he he I'm uh, from 2010 to 2012. Yeah. Uh -huh. Take a look at this list. Settle to Rini Bindani. Settle to Rini Bindani. The first page is 21st May 2010 to 19 March 2011. And you have 72 detentions. I'm not telling you. I don't know about these cases. And then from February 2012, at 2012. In April 2012. The April 2012. You have two, four, six, eight. You have ten detentions. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fooling with you. And from 15 August 2010. From January August 2010. Ah no, B, no B is. No, I can't be sure of this date. I think this date is mistaken. So I put that aside. Ah, uh, but it should be. 2010 because I can see Alcalo of Mandua in it. Uh, let's see. Yes, let's say from 21 June uh, 2011 to 12 August 2011, you have also about 15 other detentions. June, August 2011, I mean, then, for 10. In fact, I want to believe that all these detentions were during your time. <laughs> and these are 436 detentions. We, we have extracted it, Mr. Chair, from the detention registers of Holgam. Hmm. You are shocked at the number? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, about this, no, I cannot remember this. 
We were shocked at the number. It's too many. We, we did not manufacture the detention registers. These are provided by the NIA. It's the detention registers of Hong Kong. I think it's produced by NIA. He, he gave us the document. No. These are the dissenters. Oh, I, 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 I am requesting that you do a proper investigation because I am seeing your names. Okay, what we would do is mm -hmm. uh, we would provide the registers and you would give a short and statement to the investigators study? about okay, those registers. About the registers. Yes, please. Okay. All right. So, uh, like here, I am seeing the likes of Asis Tamba, Munudul Lamin Jaju, Asis Jawara. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, sir. No. Never. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. that's what the register claims. Mm. The number is certainly a lot. But you would agree with me that arrest and detention by NDEA for crimes that are not related to drugs was unlawful. Excuse me, as far as I know, as far as I know, I, call, I do not invite anybody unless the only case that I treat with at the NDA or whole one is cases which are definitely from the DG. That's all. I am not I don't What I am is mm -hmm. at the NDEA, like here you have XIGP SR Baji. Uh, by the way, here are the registers. Huh? These are the Holcomb registers. Oh? From NDEA. You want. They definitely show antiquity. <laughs> wow. These are the whole damn registers, isn't it? Demo Terrain, you've been done in Yapa Fufu, whole damn. In DEA. But you will certainly recognize the registers. What do you do with this one? But you should recognize them. What do you say on the top? I'm seeing, I don't know, police diary. Am I right? The Gambia police station diary. Yes, but for this Gambia police, police diary. These are the, these are the ones that were provided to the police. Lena, Mona, and the head. And you would see, it would say, uh, uh, return to Holden, receive at Holden. You would see that written in the documents. Let me show you this one. Certainly. <laughs> It would, it would take quite a lot for anyone to fabricate these things. Uh, just open, hold this page that I have. Yeah, yeah, this diary is from Mahoga. Exactly. Take a look at this one too. You guys need to use hand sanitizers too. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> should. Mr. Barry, sorry about this, but take a look at this one. You would also notice that it is from Mahoga. You agree? Mm -hmm. You agree they are from Hong Kong? So the list is extracted from these documents. And during your time, 436. Honestly, I'm not aware. You see, there were two sections. There were two units. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair, uh, I would ask that we ad exhibit the list that is extracted and not these documents because it will be difficult to manage these documents. <laughs> Except if the chair directs that we do so. No, I wouldn't, please. Let's find a convenient way of um, uh, having it in our records. Thank you. So, but you need a, a bit you more. are saying there are two sections. You need a bit more confirmation yes. from him on it um, before we... Well, well, he has accepted that yes, these of documents course, come accepted from the entries. Right. Right. Uh, well, uh, they are from, 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 from the whole government. Uh, so you wouldn't have any problem with uh, the list put together? 
If you don't have any problem, uh, it can be exhibited. Actually, I've seen them physically, so I've accepted them. Would you accept that list, the extract that we have provided? No, 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 I do not know exactly whether these are the list. I want to this correct or not? Yes, it is. You can, you can be rest assured. Ah. You can be rest assured. If, 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 if you say so, I will. Yes, be rest assured. But the commission will check it. Anyway, to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. 436 or thereabouts. David, David Kuri. It's surprising, isn't it, Mr. Kambi? Uh, so arrest and detention. Can I have a copy? Uh, maybe the chairman can direct, but uh, whether we should give you a copy or not. Okay, then it means I have to take my time before accepting it. Because if I have a copy, then 